What is going on you guys? Welcome back to Garage Denali. Hope that you guys are doing all right. In today's upload, we're actually gonna be installing some of the first mods on my 2014 BMW 435i. So if we look over here, I got three boxes. And what we have in the small one are some M Performance black kidney grills. Now these are the single slat ones, not the double slatted M3, M4 style grills. In the bigger box here, we have a rear diffuser. This is also an M Performance rear diffuser, so it's gonna be a little more aggressive than what we have. And then in the smaller box here, we got a trunk deck lip spoiler. So just to give you guys an idea of what we're working with, this is our stock factory grill right here, so you can see uh, the kidney grills we have have this chrome outline and the black grills, the actual black inserts, and then the chrome perimeters. And then if we go back here, we'll also take a look. This is our stock factory rear diffuser. And we're gonna change this out for an M Performance style rear diffuser, one that's a little more aggressive, has uh, some fins, and I think it looks a lot better. And then we're also gonna throw on a trunk deck lid spoiler. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we need to do in order to get access to the kidney grills is to remove the T25 and T30 bolts that are right underneath this weather stripping and right here that hold the headlight in place. So go ahead and peel off your weather stripping, revealing all the bolts that you need to remove. Next, grab a T30 and remove the six bolts that you see right under here and the two T25s that are right over there. So in total, you have eight to remove. Once you've removed all your bolts, you're gonna wanna pull back on the top of the bumper. Now, it's a little difficult to see, but you can see the tops of the kidney grills in here. And essentially, you're gonna wanna get a flathead screwdriver and push down on the tabs that hold the grills into the bumper. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I did here. So peel back the top of your bumper like that. The access is very tight, but what you wanna do is you wanna push down on the three tabs right up here that you see. And even more so, there's a tab here on each side close to the headlight. You can push that inwards towards the center of the car push these three tabs downwards and then you can slowly start to pry up from the top you have another tab here on the right you got to push that inwards a little difficult a little challenging tedious but it can be done once you get these five or so tabs out and the whole top of the kidney grill should swivel downwards like that and then you can actually if you got small enough hands you can get your hands in here like that and you can actually kind of push up on these tabs right down here. These ones you gotta push upwards, just like that. Or if you have a tool, um, like a pick tool, you can probably use that instead. But basically do that, you get one of these grills out. And then as far as the other one, I mean, once you remove one, the process is a lot easier. You just stick your hand through here and then you can get the tabs out. All, uh, I believe it's eight tabs, nine tabs, something like that. So just do that and then we'll go ahead and get our new grills installed. We're gonna go ahead and open our box here, get our brand new grills, just like that. These are wrapped two times, but if we pull this out, let me go ahead and get the wrapping off. And just like that, this is our brand new M Performance Style Gloss Black Grill. This is gonna look great on the car, especially considering the theme of blue and black. So let's go ahead and get these on and I'll show you how it looks. And now we're gonna go ahead and take our new grill, get our tabs lined up, just like that, and then snap it in, just like that. Alrighty, it's looking a whole lot better. Let's get the other one on. Go ahead and get our other grill, get this lined up, and we'll snap it in place. Once you've got your grills in place, go ahead and get your T25 and 
and T30 bolts and get the top of the bumper fastened back together. So now it's time to remove the rear diffuser. Note that the F32 4 Series has two 8mm bolts on the left side of the diffuser, three 10mm bolts across the center of the diffuser, and two more 8mm bolts on the left side of the diffuser. Once these are out, we can pry up the diffuser and start to remove it from the bumper. The top part of the diffuser is held in with clips and you can just pull on it to get it to break free from the bumper, just like that. Our diffuser also comes with two little pieces of mesh that go on each end. Go ahead and get the mesh installed and use the provided fasteners to go ahead and secure it in place. Once you have your mesh installed, go ahead and take your diffuser and start to secure it to the top of the bumper with the fastener clips. Work your way around the top from the center to each side and then bolt it from underneath. And now this is what our rear diffuser looks like once it has been installed. All right guys, so basically I'm just showing you what the car looks like right now with the front kidney grills installed and I'm gonna show you the back in a moment. So. I think that these uh, M Performance black kidney grills go really well with the theme of the car, blue and black. It doesn't really matter what color car you have, I think black looks pretty good. These were definitely a lot better than the old ones that I had, uh, the chrome ones with the black slats, and the slats were even thinner, but you can see these ones are a little thicker, so they just look that much better. Definitely cleans up the front end quite a bit, if I go ahead and kind of center it that way and show you. You can see we've got our... M Performance rear diffuser installed. And that also looks really good too. So it adds a nice more aggressive look to it. And no, my exhaust is not broken. It's just uh, the left side is currently closed right now as the car is warming up, but you can even open it when you put it in sport mode. So that's why only the right one is actually open. But uh, yeah, I mean, you can see here, it looks pretty good. I didn't actually put the trunk deck lip spoiler because the one that I put on was a little too it was a little too tall, it was a little too thick. And the main problem with that was when you put it on the trunk, the bottom edge of it was just too flat. It didn't really follow the curve of the trunk. And uh, I'll even post some pictures right now for you to get an idea of what it looks like, but it didn't really follow the curves of the trunk and it didn't look that good. I will be honest, it was an aftermarket part that I did find online, uh, color match to this car, to this color, Estoril Blue. I will be getting the OEM part and basically it's a little thinner than the one that I had on, so it's gonna follow the curve of the trunk more. And uh, I'll post a couple of pictures of that too in there, uh, in the video right here for you guys to check out. But I'm gonna be doing that as well for the back. But yeah, these are the first aesthetic mods that I've done to the car. If you don't know me by now, I'm uh, pretty much an OEM plus kind of guy. So uh, there's gonna be plenty more mods where that came from. So definitely stay tuned and check out, subscribe to the channel to check out what's more to come. But I can say we are gonna be doing some changes in the front, more changes in the front. We're gonna be doing more changes in the back as well. And that may not necessarily be all OEM plus. I'll drop you a little hint right there, but I guess we'll see with time. And we're gonna be doing some mods to the interior as well, some changes as well. So uh, you're definitely gonna to wanna to subscribe to make sure you don't miss that. But yeah, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video right here. These are the first mods that I've done to my 435i. Uh, some tasteful mods, nice OEM plus type of modifications since uh, that's for the most part how I like to roll. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you very much. Take care.